Where's Gav? Give me a sec, give me a sec, I gotta go back uh, to the boatman. Uh, give him the thing he needs. Alright, here you go. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Chock of O's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Matchup might. Oh. Anything new? Anything new? No, no. Nope. Fuck. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Iron Home. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh?
the facility following the hideaway facility are not available LAM report patron whisper and the hunt board what are we waiting for indeed so I have an uncle I didn't know that I can you never talked about him but will he be on board helping us? That's the question. What the hell is this? I had to come all the way over here to talk to him. Oh, it's the, the, the guy who is doing his fucking research that he didn't care about his assistant dying. As long as he gets that soil. See, I am was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. She's dead? The one that we rescued? This tun here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it clear. You'll have to ask Mid if you want to know how it works, though. Why tell us that it's the lady that we rescued, isn't she? She died? Fuck! What happened to the, 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 the her? Good. Welcome to the uh, the, the, the guy, the, the master, whatever, the professor, whoever. Is he alive or is he dead? I prefer him to die than her. Fuck. Why the fuck they had to kill her off? You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. Mm. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. <sighs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. 
Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Clive! Anything catch your eye? Think you can help? Down here. What are you? Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is where I spent it on. The playing side quest will earn Clive's free own. Inspiring nameless benefactor from across the tw twins to donate money or items to Clive's cost. It's a desire, Patreon, uh, whisper in the highway mess. Okay. Talk of the treehouse. Ooh, Berserker Ring. Fuck. 85. See, you merry band of outlaws and dashing thieves are our daring duo of all the talk among the ladies of the court. We have gathered together and several items worth. Now you might continue your gallantry. But the ability points, I. Yeah, give me the ability points. Here you are. I'm gonna save. Wait, I don't spend it? I spend it, don't I? You earned this. Oh no, I I, I thought I spent the uh, re-own points. Shit, it's actually like a uh, locket. Okay. Good. But like 400 or. Or over 400. <laughs> journal. This is my first time going to the journal. Fuck. Ooh, 1,200. Ah, oh my god. I, I already want this. Fuck. Fuck shit. Save it. Oh, update. What happened? Ah, my favorite pupil. What is it that you wish to learn? What? You're my master? Here you are. What was I? Okay, yeah, I was like somewhere around here. Yeah, right here, I think. To the city, yeah, yeah. Okay, what happened next? What happened next? Life and Jill returned to Hideway only to learn that another crisis is unfolding in Rosaria. Fighting the broken outlaw, Martha rests, and the confusion Martha has disappeared. Okay. Went and check on Martha. Then this bastard went and go to fight. The Imperials just just to take over this one. What does it say? Siege of the Crystalline Domain. The 
the conflict between the Holy Empire of the Sabreek and the Republican of Delpkai, no, whatever, here, Lashi, and the control. I want, I'm kind of curious, what the fuck is these bastards doing? I mean, they haven't been doing anything. Like, they're, they're waiting the right opportunity. So we're going to to our home. Shit. It's Annabelle there? Or oh, Annabella? Let's see. They're calling Ah, oh, these fucking bastards. The, 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 the assassins, the black shields, yeah. Fucking piece of shits. Different. No. Okay. Doing the bear calling. Okay, we we destroyed or taken out the middle one. There's these two are still in conflict right here. And these bastards are not doing shit. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. So Mather's all right. Yep. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was... that what you wanted to know? Right. Well... Leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war, the last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Kind of beast. Oh, I already took one out. Of course, the fiend terrorizing in the countryside are posted. Okay. I already took out that bastard. You see. What's the other one? The angel of death. A traitor coming by the way of Ger Norman. Where were the troop of the curse breaker traveler? The opposite direction of the warnings of a wicked winged harpy. And rose ahead. Eyes wild flickering through the curse breaker saw nothing unward or untoward on their own journey through their past. Sound of cackling laughter from the trees assured that they kept up the brisk pace. E rank. Of course, they're receiving a wild Avis or Avis of a striking size, making it its nest atop of the hill to East Pool. Though all efforts are being made. Now rouse the beast ire. It is surely the but a matter of time before it needs to be fed. I hereby petition the bravery volunteers to march to the northern or the northern border that we might cut the fiend down before it makes the transit of the nearby village. Oh I can't I can't okay. I just need to know the name. The clear view same greed. Try to find it. But I don't think I can right now. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. 
even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Oh, I got an apple. Let's play in Clive's chamber. What? The apple's just gonna be a display? Let me go check. I think the the feather of my of my chocobo is there too. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? Hey, there's the apple. Someone stunned, somewhat, uh, somewhat sweet apple grown from the blighted earth thanks to the dedication and perverence of one woman, Martel. Though she was to, uh, was to lost her life from the wound she sustained in Koopa's attack on the highway, her legacy lives on in the sapling that she saved from the ruins. Oh, <laughs> I got that. A saddle of a blinder and blind your craft especially for Clive's childhood chocobo, Embracia. Even after being separated from her master, the noble steed served as the peoples of Rosaria in his stead, protecting the def uh, defenseless from the merciless, just as the good shield but should. I thought it was going to be the feather. How's this? Buried by any other name. Give my sentence of writing of these silly letters. Not that we have more time to speak to each other in per uh, person, but for every day we spend together, it feels as though we must suffer another two parts. I'm glad to hear of your most unexpected reunion with the Embracia, or should I say, Whiteheart. You told me once how you your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at the Phoenix Gate. And here, so many years later, we find she spent her life doing the exact same thing, defending others. Some things never change, do they, Clive? Fuck. I was just hoping they bring her here, but I don't think she could, she could get on the boat. Feels like we're doing like main mission, you know, like when we, we Sid. Where me and Sid and Jill and Torgal went to fucking destroy the Mother Crystal. It, all, it's all, it's, it feels like it. It can't be this easy. There has to be someone protecting it. Which Dominus is protecting this shit? Well, it, it should have been the Phoenix, but he, he I don't think Joshua's gonna fucking, you know, like to protect it anymore. 